Hey, Latonya, how you doing? Can you hear me with these headphones in? Nick, what's going on, brother? Hope y'all having a good Saturday. Hopefully you guys are ready for some uh, Cigar Madness, man. Championship day today. Wellington, what's going on, man? Oh, man. All right. Good, good. What's going on, man? How you doing, man? That's you. That's you. You the myth. You the legend. Uh, this one's this is not going to be a really long live stream, man. I'm just uh, going to let you guys see what Black Line Luxuries is offering. I'll be showing you guys two samplers that they'll have or that they actually have live on the website right now. So might be a, a couple options that you guys might be interested in. I'm good, Wellington, man. Wellington, how you doing, man? Hopefully everything is good. I know I just saw that, man. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, I just saw that. I just saw he was premiering. So yeah, uh, I have to. I'm gonna have to catch the playback on that one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get through this really quick, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be showing you guys an Agonorsa sampler and a uh, Placencia sampler that they're offering. So we'll start with the uh, Agonorsa sampler. Let you guys know what they got. Latonya, is he going live or is, uh, he's probably just premiering a video? I didn't. I didn't know that he was. Uh, Premiere in a video. So that uh yeah, I, I talked to him this morning, but I didn't talk to him really long, so I didn't know that he was uh premiering a video. So if you guys want to uh go check out the video, you guys could do that. Cause like I said, after YouTube processes the video, this video will be up for, for good. So you guys will be able to uh um catch the playback. Yeah, uh, Latonya, I had no idea he was going live. I'm going to have to make mine quick so I can go uh, get over there. All right, so the, the first one is the Agonorsa sampler. This one is offered at $39.99. You'll be getting six cigars. Nova, what's going on, man? So we'll look through the cigars that we got. The first one's going to be the Agonorsa Signature Selection Maduro Toro. That's the first cigar that you'll be getting. That's a uh, six by fifty-two. I want to say. Make sure I make sure on these sizes. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, six by fifty-two on this Toro. This is the Maduro version of what I've been smoking in the Cigar Madness tournament. The next one you're gonna have that same cigar, but it'll be in a robusto. So this is a five by fifty-two. I actually haven't had this size. I've only had it in Toro, but same cigar. So you're getting the uh, Robusto and the, the Toro. Hey, Unc, are, you, are you going live or are you premiering a video? I was going to try to hurry up and get through this so uh, I could catch your video. I didn't know you were going live because my thing just showed you were premiering a video. I didn't know you were going live, though. You know, I don't want to cross uh, cross the paths with you. See what Unc says. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna be up long. Uh, I probably be up maybe 20 minutes or so. I'm not gonna. This isn't gonna be a long video. So uh, just a quick rundown again. Got the Agonorsa Signature Selection Toro six by fifty two, and we have the Robusto five by fifty two. These are both the Maduro versions. It's a a, a Corojo hybrid shade grown Maduro. Next we got the JFR Gigante. It's a six by sixty. That'll be the third cigar. The fourth one would be a Guardian of the Farm Rambo. This is one of my favorite cigars. It's a four by, let's see, I think it's four by 50. Oh, sorry, four and a half by 48. Four and a half by 48. Very good, quick smoke if you got 30 or 40 minutes, another great cigar. It's a three minute, okay. Robert, what's going on? All right, the next one's going to be a, a lunatic. This will be a, a short Titan. This is a four and three quarters by sixty ring gauge. I actually haven't. I actually haven't had this cigar. I've seen it for years and years and years. Just never smoked it. But uh, I know a lot of people swear by this lunatic. So that'll be your fifth cigar. 
And then your next one will be a Night Watch Rambo. So same thing, four and a half by 48 ring gauge. Another quick, quick smoke. This one, this, the Night Watch and the Signature Selection Maduro have the same wrapper. It's a hybrid Corojo shade grown Maduro wrapper. So those are six cigars, $39.99. Great deal on that. You guys know if you use the, the code RON sent me, that's R-O-N. S-E-N-T-M-E, and you'll get 10% off. So don't forget to use that code when you're buying samplers or if you're buying boxes of cigars, stuff like that. That code is uh that code is always live. Okay, see Robert and Latonia, y'all both like the lunatic. Yeah, I know a lot of people are really big on that lunatic. That's just a cigar for whatever reason. I just have never smoked, but I have it now, so I'll I'll definitely smoke it. Lefty, what's going on, brother? All right. Show you the guy, show you this last uh sample so we can get over there with Unc. Now this one is a little bit more expensive. You guys know Placencia cigars aren't really necessarily cheap, but uh I like I like most of them. There's only there's only one cigar, which is one of the cigars in here that's included in the sampler. I'm not a huge fan of, but a lot of people like the cigar that so just because I don't like a cigar, that doesn't mean that you guys should veer away from a, a sampler or um, anything like that. Everybody's taste buds, everybody's palate is going to be different. So just because I don't like a particular cigar, you may like the cigar. Now this uh, Placencia uh, sampler also includes six cigars. This one's going to be $64.99. So a little bit more of a uh, price jump than the Aganorsa. So I'll let, uh, let you guys know what we got in here. So I just want to make sure I got my sizes right. I don't want to misquote sizes on you. All right. So the first, the first cigar is going to be the Placencia Alma Fuerte. It's going to be in the hexagon shape, which I, you guys know, I like the, uh, I like the Salomon a, a lot more than this one, but I think this one's the second best out of their line. <laughs> Unc said he doesn't know what he thinks. Okay, all right. I, I I just didn't know. You know, I was I, I was telling people. I know we we talked or uh, we texted briefly this morning, but I didn't know what was going on. So, all right. So uh, yeah. So you got the uh, hexagon, which is a six by sixty. This is the first cigar. So guys, as you see in the, you'll see the shape. You see that hexagon shape. So it's not a parejo. You see how like you'll see the edges on it. So that'll be the first cigar. This is actually a twenty dollars cigar by itself. Believe it or not. All right, second one is going to be a Cosacea 146 San Luis. This is a five and three quarters by 54. I haven't had this cigar. I haven't had it, so I can't give you flavor notes on this one. But this will be the second cigar. The third cigar, which I have had, is the Reserva Original Toro. This is a six by 50. This is a fantastic cigar. Actually, to be honest, this is my second favorite cigar that Placencia makes behind the Alma Fuerte. It's a very, very good cigar. A uh, cool thing about the uh, the Reserva Original, this is supposed to be all organic. Like they're not using any pesticides or stuff like that on the tobacco. This is all, this is supposed to be a completely organic cigar. So that's what's interesting about this. Jesse, what's going on? Ray, what's going on? Some people I missed. Just got that one in earlier this week. Which one did you get in? Oh, the six though. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've only smoked it once. The flavors were were pretty good, but I had burn issues. I, I think that Salomon is a better me personally. I think it's a better Vitola, but a lot of people uh, love love the six though. Yes, I'll post that code, Latanya. Let me post it in real quick. This this code here will be it's always live, and it is for ten percent off. And uh, before the chat ends, I'll post the links for the uh, sampler packs too. Lee, I, I, you know what? When I smoked the Reserva Original, I knew you would like that cigar too. That's that's a good cigar, and the price point is pretty good on it by itself. Like, I believe that's an eight to nine, maybe close to a ten dollars cigar. Okay, so Jesse smoked the one forty six, so I'm I'm excited to smoke smoke the ones I haven't had. Cool. <laughs> yeah, my call. So this this hat actually is uh this is for the Memphis Redbirds, which is a triple A team here in Memphis. That's that's the story behind the uh the M and the music symbol, and then everybody knows that mute or Memphis is known for blues. So all right, so this next cigar I'm not really a big fan of, but it's here. Um this is the Alma Alma de Fuego Candete. This is the Robusto size five by fifty. I have smoked this cigar. 
I actually reviewed this Vitola on my channel and I smoked the Toro version of this one. Not just not a big fan of it. Um, I, I'm not going to say it's, it, it, it's not, uh, I don't think it's like a bad cigar. It's just the flavor profile just doesn't fit me. Travis, I'm glad you found me, man. I'm, I'm glad to hear that, man. Yeah. Uh, this week has been nuts, man. I released it. The last episode of the final four on uh Sunday, man, and that video is doing really well, and it's a lot of new people who find in the channel, man. So I'm uh whatever's going on, I'm happy that it's it's happening, man. I'm I'm glad you guys are finding the channel. Travis, I don't know if you are up to date or up to speed, but the uh the championship match for Cigar Madness will be on tonight at six o'clock central standard time, seven o'clock eastern. You'll have to adjust it western. I'm bad with time or uh time zones, but really looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing all you guys in there. Uh, should be a should be a great great matchup. So, all right, we'll keep going. So I have smoked this cigar too. This is the Placencia Alma del Campo. This is the tribute. This is a five by fifty two. So this is going to be in that robusto family too. Um, this one you're going to get a lot more like uh, softer cream cedar notes on this one. This one isn't as in, this one isn't as intense as the Alma Fuerte, but it also has some for me some more pleasurable notes like the cedar and cream as opposed to the Alma del Fuego. I think the Alma del Fuego is more, for me, more of a uh, savory, more wood, which I don't mind those flavor notes, but I like a little sweetness, a little cedar. I like other things that, that goes on in there other than that. So, hey, Rob, what's going on? Thank you, Unc. Is that for this Placencia one? Ro uh, Robert, what, you're not a fan of which one? Which cigars are you not a fan of? Which cigars are y'all talking about with a lot of hype? Are y'all talking about the Fuego or are you talking about the Campo? Because I feel like the Campo, the Campo, a lot of people don't talk about it. I feel like it's a pretty solid cigar. I feel like the Alma del Fuego, a lot of people got or hyped it up and it was in a lot of people's top 10 list. And I smoked it afterwards and I, was, I just was really underwhelmed too. Ken, I'm glad, glad to have you over here, man. Glad to have you over here. Uh, the last cigar is a... Um, this is a uh, Placencia Reserva 1898. So this comes in a couple of different sizes. Uh, the the backstory behind this one, this is supposed to be Nestor's one of his best blends that he ever created. And it's an event only cigar. So this is a, this is the freebie that you're getting in the Placencia sampler. It's a uh, event only cigar. So it's not a cigar you're going to be able to like walk in a B&M or, or go on any website online and order it unless they probably have a sampler pack or something like that, maybe too. So. You're getting all six of these cigars. The Placencia Sampler is $64.99. Aganorsa Sampler is $39.99. Pretty good, pretty good deal. Got a lot of good stuff uh, coming, coming for the rest of the year, man. Been talking with James, getting a lot of stuff going uh, sampler-wise for you guys, making sure that, that everybody's uh, smoking some good cigars. So I, I'm I, I'm actually really happy to hear that, man. That, uh, I know I know Uncle, I know Uncle Lee hated that cigar too. So I'm glad to see a lot of other people didn't think that uh, Fuego was, I didn't think it was that good either. Jesse, that's what I'm hearing, man. I, I heard the, the event only cigar is good. Uh, shit, man, I, I'll smoke it now. I'll smoke it now. They don't have the size on this one. I don't, I want to see, uh, let's see. Yeah, they don't have the size, but if I'm eyeballing this, I'm going to go... Five and a half, probably 44. I think it's about a five and a half by 44. Lee, did you smoke them? Did you smoke it and just not like it and give it away? Or did you just give them away before you smoked them? I know I'm not using matches or a soft flame today. This is uh, one of the few. I just I have some matches, but I just picked this thing up. So. Appreciate that, Nova. You know, you know, I'm gonna stay at it. Hey, you know how to get, you know how to reach me. Yeah, very, very big weekend plan, man. This is this is gonna be a really good weekend. Today, you guys know the championship match airs. Sunday, you guys know Lee Mac does his thing. He's got a review coming out tomorrow. Our Robusto show in the evening time. In Memorial Day, me and Unc gonna hit y'all over the head with the collab that a lot of people have been asking for. So. 
really excited about this. I'm really excited, and I know he is too, to uh, to get you guys to see our our opinions on the cigar that we're reviewing, man. Um, just got a lot of stuff planned, man. Just trying to stay busy. I know Unky is too, and um, just just trying to keep up with everything, man. It's just kind of uh, I'm not gonna say unfortunate, but that's kind of the the thing that you have to think about as your channel grows, or just in, in anything as you becoming more successful. Channels growing, you're starting to interact with more people, man. It's, uh, the one thing that doesn't change is time. We still only got 20, 24 hours in a day, but it's all good. Um, I, w I wouldn't want it any other way with, it, with with the people that I'm dealing with now, man. It's been it's been a really good eight months, man. And I know that uh, I know when I look back in a year or two, it's, it, it'll be all love, man. OK, that make that makes sense, Lee. uh yeah oh okay yeah so latonya for you my so there's two parts to the video with me and lee mac if you're on if you're on the east coast my video will be airing at one o'clock and his his part will be airing at 1 30. if you're central it'll be starting at noon and his will air at 12 30. matt we appreciate you man i, I you know I'm, I'm speaking for lee too i know he appreciates you too uh you guys make it easy, man. You guys, you guys make it very easy to uh, just, just like I said, just being yourself, man. You guys, like I said, I, I'm really thankful that all you guys have been receptive of me, especially with how new I am. I know a lot of times uh, being a new kid on the block sometimes is just a little harder to kind of peek through the cracks and get, get you know, get yourself out there where people uh, trust your opinions or, or uh, want to take time out of their day to view your content because I don't take any of that for granted either. You guys could choose to watch anybody or you could choose to be doing anything that you want to. And for you guys to be spending time with me, I, I don't take that lightly. Really appreciate that, Matt. Appreciate Latonya, Adam, Jesse, Robert, you know, all the regulars, man. I, I'm, I'm appreciating you guys. And uh, I'm telling you, got some stuff playing, man. Adam, how you doing, man? You always working. You sound like me, man. I put a.m. not p.m. OK, uh, I did. I, I must have put the wrong time. I'll go back and correct it. Or is she talking to. Did, did we both put the wrong time? Of course, my call, I, re, I recorded the call. Uh, <laughs> I'm the talent. I know I knew what one a couple weeks ago. But. uh. It'll uh I I think you guys enjoy it, man. It'll it'll be a good it'll be a good good matchup. Yeah, Kenneth, that's what I was kind of thinking, man. I I think uh something happened with the video that I released last Sunday of the Final Four, and um I think it it, it somehow it it hit in that YouTube algorithm, man, and it's just been swimming ever since. Yeah, man. Um. Uh, that's not going to be, you know, of course, at some point I'm going to do other giveaways, too. OK, let when I when I get off of uh, here, I'll make sure that it has p.m. and not a.m. when I get off this live stream. Um, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was saying was uh, I'm going to do I, I mean, I'm going to do more giveaways where you don't have to involve Instagram. So I, it's funny. I actually had a guy comment on, uh, on the video. and It was like, well, I don't have Instagram, so I guess I'm going to unsubscribe. And I was just like. All right, man, you know, if that's uh if that's that's how you feel. I mean, I hate that to hear that, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, Lee, I, yeah, I'll check I'll uh I, good thing good thing we got a couple of days before that airs. I'll I'll make sure when I get off this uh live stream I'll correct it to PM. Pretty good so far. Uh See, you work six days a week in nurse at the animal hospital. Thank you for what you're doing. I know we got a lot of animal lovers out here. I'm one of them. I have a dog. Wait, wait. Latonya, who, who getting an apology? Me? I'm, I'm sorry. Whatever I did, I apologize. <laughs> Today is always going to be a good day, man. New world for the first time after rolling up. <laughs> 
Matt, that was kind of my point behind when he made the comment. I'm like, I hope you aren't here just to win stuff and get, because I, I, you know, and giveaways and stuff, man. That's not even really what I want my channel to be based on. Uh, Leon, yes, I do, man. Uh, you can all like if you read the descriptions of all in any of my videos, I always will have the Patreon. You can sign up for the Patreon, which honestly, man, I'm gonna say that's the cheapest way to support me, man, because uh, there's a, there's a couple options in there, man. It's, it's pennies on the dollar a day. Uh, got my cash app in there, Venmo, PayPal, all this stuff. Uh, so I always put that stuff in the description link. But of course, I don't want to beat people over the head. You know, uh, if people want to do it, man. They do it. If not, then hey, like I said, I appreciate you guys because you can support in other ways other than financially too. share videos, tell people about the channel. Oh, Jesse, you messed up. OK. Uh, yeah, Unc, I, I text I texted to you. I didn't I, I didn't email it to you. That might be why you uh, uh, I'll make sure I email it to you, too. Yeah, Adam, I, I, that's I'm not that's not even in my lane anyway. Like I, I you know, uh, me and Cigar Club do a giveaway once a month for the unboxings. But even still, like that's not that's not what it, that's that's not my M.O. My goal is to get in the industry, become a cigar bl uh, blender. You know, y'all y'all know what it is. So it's like that's that's not my goal. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people at the fire department, my call smokes, uh, smoke cigars. It's become very popular over, I would say, the past probably two or three years. A lot of a lot of cigar smokers. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said, Latonya, I apologize for whatever I did. Love you too. Hey, I, I appreciate whatever you, however you guys want to support. Like I said, I, I appreciate it all, man. Um, I, I, I really do. I appreciate all of it. I can't wait for you to look at that. That uh, I can't wait for you to review that, Lee. I'm looking forward to that. You know, I, you know, you know, your man gonna be watching it too. Pretty good. Hey, it ain't no armor where it's here, man. But you know, pretty, pretty good though. Pretty good cigar. That's right, Matt. That's that's right. We're gonna give it. Hey. We give a we give a quick moment of silence right now, man, for everybody that's 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 fought for this country in any capacity, that's lost their lives, people that are still serving, man. We're gonna do a moment of silence for them, man. All right, man. Shout out to all the vets out there. Shout out to all the military personnel, personnel or personnel. And um, like I say, I really appreciate you guys, man, for what you're doing because without. Matt, you too, man, been in the military without all you guys. Uncle Lee, shout out to Uncle Lee, man. Navy guy, shout out to all y'all, man. Yeah, I, I think so far, I think, yeah, the only cigar, me, I know me and Lee hate that Alma Del Fuego, man. It's just, just not a good cigar. So, but uh, what, are, what does everybody got playing today, man? Are y'all... Y'all kind of sitting around the house chilling? Or you, what you guys got going on? I know I'm going to probably get out here in a little bit and get on this uh, grill before the video starts because wife was texting me while I was at work yesterday and wanted to spend a little time yesterday. I told her, I said, man, we spend all day, all day tomorrow. Just I just got to be free around six o'clock because I want to be in the uh, in the premiere for the championship match. It's a big deal. So thankfully, I'm blessed to have a, a, a really awesome wife, man. She's uh, she's she's good. Better than I deserve. Hey man, uh, I you know, no, I I definitely thank you guys for the service that you guys have done, man. I'm uh I'm in incredibly humbled by that. I don't even know if I told you guys the story about that, but uh, I'm, I was pretty young when I graduated high school, graduated college at uh, I was 20, 20 when I graduated college and was really close to signing up and uh and going with the Navy, man. But just at the last second, something just told me that that it wasn't it wasn't the path for me and uh. You know, you, I don't question anything. I know everything happens for a reason, because if I, you know, the, my life would be completely different now. I wouldn't if I was in the Navy, I wouldn't be married to my wife. I wouldn't have my son right now. So, um, yeah, man, just that's some, sometimes that's just how the ball swings, man. Ash head, what's going on? Working in that garden. 
Hey, man, if y'all aren't following Ash Head Cigar Junkie, too, another up-and-coming guy, man. You can see it in his videos. Very passionate, loves cigars, real big nature guy. Just kind of, you know, like me, man, just a real laid-back guy, man. Real, Just a really, really laid-back, cool dude, man. Robert, I kind of had a feeling you were going to say you were on their pit. At meal kicks, I like those meal kicks. Yeah, Nova, man, I, I was really close to I was really close to being in the Navy, man. I do know that too, Matt. I know your I know your children are in the in the military too. Again, when you get a chance, man, tell them I said thank them for the service, man. Uh, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people don't have the heart. No dissing anybody that's not in the military. I'm not in the military, but a lot of people, a lot of people don't have that that that. And people join for different reasons, but I don't. I think a lot of people don't have the heart to do what you guys are doing, man. So, uh, shout out to you guys. Kudos to, to all y'all, man. I know, Latonya. I saw you say you were chilling in the bed, man. Matt, y'all can keep all anywhere. Y'all can keep all that snow, man. Like I, I said before, that first day is kind of cool looking on looking at it on the ground, especially if I don't have to work or nothing in it. It's nothing worse than working in in what. Which with my job, man, they, you know, the fire department doesn't never shut down, but it's just, you know. I, I I'm good with snow for like that first day after that. I'm uh I'm I'm over it. So so far, man, this uh this reserve of eighteen ninety eight, pretty good cigar. I don't know if I would go out there and say it's the best placency I've had, but um not bad, man. Not bad. It'll be interesting to see if they remain or if they keep this uh, as an event only thing. Same thing with Foundation and the Menelik cigar. That cigar was a event only release. And now it's kind of a limited regular production. It'd be kind of nice to see if they uh, they end up turning this into like a limited regular production thing. I, I just like these size cigars, man. I know everybody has their preferences, too, about ring gauges and stuff. But they, these 44s to 48s, man, they just they just smoke really well, man. It's just. That you just get so much flavor, intensity, and just body of smoke. And it's just, I like these, man. Adam, uh, is it, I bet it's pretty humid where you are, man. How do I feel about the Balmoral du, uh, Dueto? I don't know if I've had that one. Um, the few Balmorals I've had, the, the, my favorite Balmoral is probably the Añejo XO Lancero. All the other ones I've had have been solid. Nothing, nothing that I'd have to have all the time. But uh, I think Balmoral makes makes solid cigars. It's kind of unfortunate that they're taking themselves out of the uh, American market. Exactly. I was just about to say that before I finished reading your comment, man. Like when you have stuff like that, and Memphis will do that too. You'll be it'll be ninety one day, and then it'll be you know in the fifties or sixties, right? It's just like there's no way to to uh, keep yourself from getting sick, man. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to holler at James and get him to send me a couple more. I'm gonna have to get some of these, man. Uh, Jesse, do you uh do you have like this size or do you? Because I saw like they had some bigger ones. Look like they were probably in that fifty to fifty two ring gauge family, but this one's pretty good, man. Again, too, man, uh, I was mentioning, I've mentioned it before, like there's, I feel like there's a lot of channels out there that I feel like put out some good content that you guys, if you aren't uh, following them, show them guys some love too, man. Because like I said, um, it doesn't even have to necessarily be monetary, man, but um, this stuff is, it's, it's, it's not easy. You know what I mean? As far as like coming up with concepts, coming up with what cigars you want to smoke, editing film, putting it out. So People like Smoking Preacher, Ash Head Cigar Junkie. Uh, I know Cigar Nova's getting ready to, to uh, he's working on a website. Man, so, you know, like so support these guys. Watch some stuff, man. Share some stuff. Get this community growing, man. Get, you know, let the world know that uh, cigar smokers are special, man. We're special, pe special people. So a lot, a lot of these guys, man, like I say, I, I remember, you know, I still consider myself a small channel, but I remember, I remember being uh, there in September and October you know, trying to come up in, with creative ideas and trying to trying to get myself out there, man. So uh, support these people, man, and, and let them know that they're doing a good job, whether you're commenting on videos or talking to them behind closed doors. Let, let them know that they're doing a good job and 
and, you know, be encouraging to them, man. Be encouraging. Think about this, too. The difference between somebody continuing and quitting could be one person. You could be that one person that makes that person decide, OK, I'll do it for one more day or I'll do it. I'll keep doing it. So just uh, and just Jesse knows Jesse has an up and coming channel channel, too, man. His channel is going to be called Just Cigar. So I'm subscribed to him, too, man. And uh, like I said, and, and, they'll, and they can tell you, man, just, a lot of these guys are just starting out. I'm just starting out. I don't even have a year in yet. It's, it's not easy, man. Techn you're always running into technical, technical, technical difficulties, and there's nothing worse than smoking maybe a cigar you only got one of to find out the sound is bad or the video is bad or you corrupt files. Like uh, if Lee is still here, Lee knows all about that too. He's been doing this for years, man. You're always, always running into some issues, man. So it's uh, it, word word of mouth and just being encouraging goes a long way, man. So make sure you guys are doing it. Yeah, Matt, I think that's uh and 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 I don't that's that's a really big thing for me. Um I'm sponsored. Everybody knows that there's no secret. But uh both my both my sponsors know I'm not gonna compromise anything. If they send me a cigar or they're sending me something and I don't believe in it or I don't think it's that great of a cigar, like I'm probably not the person you want to get tied in with because I feel like I owe it to you guys to be to continue to be honest and uh I, I, me and me and Lee talk about this all the time too. I always want to be comfortable when I wake up in the morning and look in the mirror or before I go to bed, I always want to look back in the mirror and be comfortable with the person I'm looking at, man. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I could care less if my channel gets to a hundred thousand subscribers or I could care less if every video hits 10,000 views of, you know, like that's not why I do this. And, um, I'm hoping as time goes on and I can get closer and closer to my goals. And, uh, you know, I think that'd be cool too, if I can get down to some farms and, you know, show you guys my blending journey of me trying to become a blender, man, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I agree though. A lot of, a lot of people you can watch, man. And they just, they just, uh, I don't know, man, you, you could just tell they're no longer, they're not true. Like Matt was saying, Hey, just no problem, man. I, like I said, I appreciate you guys for, uh, I appreciate you and appreciate all of you for, for supporting me too, man. So that's the least I could do is, you know, give you a subscription and make sure I'm watching your content. You got any questions for me? And just like Lee, Lee, Lee is, and that's why I like Lee too, you know, uh, or what I'll, or uh, what I'll coin the term non Hollywood. So no matter, you know, Lee is sitting at right at 10,000, but you guys see him in the chat of a much smaller channel. You're able to write comments to him or send him emails and he's going to respond. Some of these channels, man, 30, 40, 50,000 subscribers. And there's no, there, there's no personal connection with them. So you know, I'll drop in the bigger channels if they're reviewing cigars or something like that that I may be interested in. But as far as me really committing my value, because I, I don't know about y'all, I value my time. So for me to commit to something or, or of my value time, like, and there's no personal, uh, not not game, but there's no personal connection there then, I'm probably not going to be hanging out there. Hey, Lee, you do your thing, man. You know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching that, man. I, Cause like I said, nobody deserves it more than you. I appreciate that, man. I know you have, man. And like I said, all of, all of y'all have been in here, man. Yo, you all guys have, uh, and then, like I said, you guys are clutch too. Cause I don't ever announce anything. I just, I pop up and like, Oh, Ron's live. And you guys, you guys are tuning in. So I, uh, I really, I really do appreciate it, man. Not only is Lee the OG, Lee, Lee is the goat. Y'all know what I, y'all know what I've done. Lee make the goat, man. I appreciate that, Jesse. Yeah, that would be a nice plan for me, man. If I can get down to like a nice farm, uh, Aganorsa or uh, down there with, in Donnelly, Honduras with Christian Arroyo, you know, and I'm sure this is going to, you know, this would be maybe some years down the road, but I think that would be cool. I don't, I don't even think I've ever seen anything done like that too, where you can get some firsthand uh, footage and stuff like that of just like the journey of just trying to become a blender, man. And just, you know, uh, everything that goes entail with it. No doubt, Kari. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you've got to value your time. I, I can't speak for everybody, but I value my time. So uh, believe me when I, if I'm ever somewhere or if I'm ever watching a video or comment, it's not any, it's not any motive behind it. It's me genuinely being there to support you, man. And uh, me like, and me supporting what you're doing. Very truly, very true. 
uh, I do. Uh, the cigar community is definitely small, so uh, we definitely have to make sure we're supporting each other for sure. And then you guys see the FDA and everybody. We're so we're so small that everybody's trying to pick on us. So we we supporting each other is really really important. Leon, he's been like that for me since I've reached out to him quite a few years ago. Lee Lee Mac has always been like that. If you email him or uh, come in and ask a question or anything like that, he's always he's always there, man. Marlon, I appreciate that, man. I really do. It means a lot to me, man. Uh, I know time doesn't mean anything neither, but it, uh, um, it 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 means a lot to me that that I've already I've already been warmed up in enough people's hearts that I and I and you know I haven't been here that long, so um, I, I like I said, I take that very serious, man. I take that very serious. It's, it's this is a good cigar. It's it's pretty good. Like I said earlier, it, it's not an alma fuerte, but it's a good cigar. Like I think uh I don't know, I feel like this is probably in the this this is about a ten dollar, ten, eleven dollar cigar. Exactly, Matt. Exactly. Mystical, you know what they say, better late than never, man. How you doing? I uh, I don't know if you've ever had this one, Mystical. This is the uh, event only. This is the Placencia Reserva 1898. They like say it's Nestor's, uh, one of his best creations. What humidity levels do cigars smoke best? Do outdoor high humidity make the cigar taste bitter? Uh, to answer your first question, uh, humidity do levels smoke best? That's going to be personal preference. Um, I typically smoke my cigars a lot drier than most people. I feel like, I've, and I feel like uh, I've had a lot of success with that in, in the time, the duration I've been smoking. I smoke mine typically around 62 to 64 on the lower end of that 62 is better. I'll even smoke them at 60. That they don't bother me then too. Um if you uh outdoors high humidity makes cigars taste bitter. No, not necessarily. It uh, but it can affect your burn. So, if I've been keeping my cigar at 62 and in the in Memphis is very humid, if I go outside and smoke a cigar, it's 99.9% .9 of the time I'm going to know I'm going to have to at least do one or a couple touch-ups just because it uh the humidity, the 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 shock that the cigar has went through in such a quick amount of time. Yeah, this, this one's pretty good, Miss School. This is like uh, five and a half by 44. Per, uh, perfect size. Do you know if there's any publicly traded cigar companies on the stock market? Uh, Travis, I don't know about that. What's your average of cigars you smoke daily? I smoke between four. Uh, Alex, what's up, man? So another uh, another up and coming cigar reviewer, man, Alex, check him out too, man. I've been I've been I haven't caught up on all your videos. I've seen two or three of them, but I like what you're doing over there too. I uh, I smoke four to six cigars a day, typically. It, yeah, I would say on the average. Uh, some days maybe more. Some day, I've I've been days where uh, I've only smoked one. Like I could you know if I could tell like or I smoked smoke two, and if both aren't really tasting that good, I'd be like. Just not not it today, but uh, on average four to six. I still haven't had a Duke cigar mystical. Bleacher, what's going on, brother? Man, that was funny, uh, and I got I got asked a couple times to review that too, and I'm just like, I don't smoke those, and, I, and when I had, I just don't like them, man. I'm just not a, I'm not a fan of it. And I don't want to be rude, man, you know, but that's like, I just don't like those. I don't like those. Yeah, uh, Jesse, that's true. Um, with Connecticut's and lighter shades, look, I'm indoors and got a little bit of a burn issue, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Um, your Connecticut's, you could probably store those a little higher because the wrapper's not as thick, but I would say like Maduro's and stuff like that, I would try to keep those cooler. You you get those thick, oily Maduros and you got that humidity too. How you gonna have some real burn issues, baby? 
British tobacco, part of supply chain cigar stock. That might be something I need to look into. Uh, I'm, I, I have stocks, but I'm not like really, really active. And I just kind of I'm really aggressive. And then I just kind of let them sit there and do what they do. Right now, I'm going to say uh, medium to full body, medium to full flavor, medium strength. Really good, really good body on this. Really good flight, really good, uh, good, good flavors on this. This isn't one. <coughs> I'm not reviewing it, so I'm not really paying too much attention. But the flavors are working well together. It's got a nice, nice pepper in there. Good spice, good little cinnamon in the background. Nice clean finish. You guys know how big I, uh, how uh, I'm big on the real clean finishes. Mystical, I'm gonna be honest, man. It's I, I never I, I I don't I hate that. I don't want to ever tell anybody not to try anything, but I feel like I know your palate. You're pretty pretty close to mine. I, I wouldn't I mean the only reason why I say buy it is because it's cheaper to try it, but uh, even then I'm not gonna recommend you buy that cigar. All right, Nova, you stay up too, man. Be safe out there. Hope hopefully we see you tonight, man. Good, good dense, good smoke. You get a good hickory flavor on this too, which I feel like I'm, I'm since some Nicaraguan cigars, I feel like every now and then I get a good hickory hit in this, and I like it, especially like with that barbecue background, that kind of smoked hickory taste. <laughs> oh man, man, I don't even know if I want to do that to nobody, man. But that is funny as hell, though, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, man. When I when I was smoking more factory smokes, my budget, my it was because my it was that was that was what was in, what was in my budget. And um, every now and then I would smoke one at work because we're up and down, in, uh, back and forth on the road so much you had to keep relighting it and stuff. So you don't want to bring like a real nice Padron or a David off and then light that to work. So something the like factory smoke would be practical for something like that if you got to work and put it down constantly and relight it. Yeah, I agree. Adam, even even at that price point, like I would even still rather jump up to the four or five dollar range, smoke me a Crown Heads, Juarez, Illusion, Rothschild, Last Call, AJ Fernandez. It's a lot of cigars for four or five dollars that I'd rather spend the extra dollar or two than to smoke that factory. You're gonna for at least for me, you're gonna get more flavor, a little bit more complexity, a lot more going on. That that factory is just really one dimensional, man. Now I will give it credit the construction. This construction, I've never really had any construction issues with them, but like. Flavor profile wise, it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, not really any coffee, or any sweet, sweet notes on this one. This is gonna be more like more hickory cedar. A little bit of a coffee base in that background. But not like you're not gonna get any like chocolate caramel or nothing like no nutmeg, nothing like that. But it's it's still very enjoyable though. Favorite flavor in a cigar? That's kind of hard to say. Um, I always get excited when I get like uh, I get like a caramel note in there, or uh, when I get a really when I get a really like you'll get milk chocolate in some, but when it's really intense, like especially in like uh, well aged Cubans, you'll get like a good tea and milk chocolate. Like that's probably my favorite flavors I like getting. I appreciate that, James. I appreciate that. Yeah, after uh, the championship airs tonight, uh, I'm going to be getting back to pair more pairings and uh, uh, regular re regular reviews, not really more combat style. But then I'm going to come back and hit y'all in late July or uh, late June, probably early July. I'm going to hit y'all with that summer showdown, man. Let y'all know I can get down with the cigars. That's $10 and under, too. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, if y'all don't mind, man, hit the thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever y'all want to hit. Uh, hit something. <laughs> I don't want to chop that up. How do you pronounce that? Is it Seattle or Seattle? But yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the summer summer showdown. It's going to be eight cigars. I've already picked those eight cigars. They're going to they're all MSRP for ten dollars and under. And it's going to be kind of the same concept.
William, I haven't had that cigar. Maybe uh, Unc may have had that cigar. He might be able to give you some input on it because I feel like we're pretty pretty close. Like we're, as far as like giving you some honest feedback, but I haven't had that one. I don't believe. Big Phil, what's going on, man? How you doing? Right, the first time. So Seattle. Where are you from? Now, Sierra, what's going on, man? Um, you just get into cigars, so hey, here's some John Ingram Um, you're just getting into cigars. I actually, if you're if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll see I did a video for top five cigars for be, uh, beginners. So if you if you want to go, or uh, I'd say go watch that video. It's it's not that long. It may be a four or five minute long video, and uh, I put some I put top I put five cigars I think that uh, newer smokers would enjoy. Okay, shout out to St. Petersburg, man. DJ Vibes was good, man. Peace to you too, brother. Good budget stick. I know I'm going to have to try that one, man, because you're saying it's good, and I've been seeing the past couple of days you done smoked them, man. Yeah, Nasir, that's a uh, Unc is right, man. That's a they. Ira Busta has a lot of video, a lot of videos too that you can reference. Well, like, what's going on, man? You know I'm cheap. Uh, hey, man. Uh, there, I, there's, I, like I just mentioned, there's some good cigars. If you, uh, I don't know if I would say they're like beginner cigars, but like I was just mentioning, the Illusion Rothschild five dollar cigar, Crown Heads Juarez five or the or the smallest size five dollar cigar. Um, CLE Connecticut, Henry Clay Warhawk. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones that, that are in that five, six, seven dollar price range. Oh, go ahead, shoot, shoot. Well, like, what's the question? Now, I'm gonna say this too. Even if you, uh, like he just said, you know I'm cheap. So that's fine. Everybody has their own budget. They have their own lane. What I'm going to tell you guys, though, and I've said it in a couple videos, where you cannot cut yourself short it, get just, go get yourselves a nice cutter, man. You don't even have to have a $100 lighter. You don't even have to have a hundred, $100 cutter. But get you a nice cutter, man. Don't shortchange yourself on cutters. Just, just trust me on that. Get a nice cutter. If you're, going, if you're not going to be cheap on something, get you a, get you a nice cutter. Our bro has to have a spit cup nearby. <laughs> um, I'm not even gonna say that's a beginner thing, man. I don't know a lot of people that smoke. I've seen people smoke cigars and spit, but to me, that just tells me that they don't like tobacco. And I think that's just gonna be, you know, like if somebody's uh, trying beer for the first time and they kind of this, you know, spitting it, and it's just kind of an acquired thing. I don't. Uh, I. What does he tell you? Does he like cigars, or he just kind of smoking them because you smoking them? How to curve it. Uh, and then I don't know what he's smoking. He might be smoking something cheap where it just doesn't taste good. All right, Bleacher. Hope we see you tonight, man. Thank you for stopping by. Brickhouse Maduro Robusto. Yeah, uh, forgot about that, Jesse. Brickhouse is another good cigar. Another, another good budget cigar. Yeah, it, it could be a uh it could be he's smoking smoking some cigars that just have some some uh not so good tobacco man charter oak charter oak is another good uh good budget cigar man mr clay nobody trying to hear that man you get no perfect draw nah i'm kidding man i'm i'm, I'm i know man i'm gonna get one i know i've been saying this for months now i'm gonna get one man <laughs> Allie bradley project 40 I've only smoked it once and it was okay to me. It wasn't anything, uh, but then again, for five dollars, that's that's fine though too. I've only had that once though. I think that scored really high on uh not that that list means anything. I remember I think that list scored or that Project Forty score high on the uh, cigar aficionado list. We 
Can't wait no longer to run. Who wins the best cigar? Man, y'all got to tune in, man. I can't give you everything. <laughs> My call, I, I have a couple of pipes. I got a couple of Mearshams and a, got a corn cob pipe. I normally smoke it when it gets colder out. When it's cold, I'll smoke them. I like the smell of them, and I like like pipe smoking. But um, when I started my channel last year, I, I I was so I'm so focused on this and trying to get this this foundation built up. I haven't I've been neglecting my pipes, but I do I do have some. I don't know much about them though. I don't I don't I don't know enough about pipes to to start making videos and stuff on them. Uh, if you guys are looking for a good pipe channel, you guys follow my guy Beans three one six B E A N S. 316. Very good guy. Very knowledgeable. He's uh he got a really, really nice collection over there. Yeah, uh, I had a great cutter from Tinderbox, solid metal. Yeah, just just get you a good cutter, man. Get you a good cutter. Latanya, would you get the uh Calibri V cutter? No, I give him a Padron, a Provada Farm Row. Man, you giving him some some good stuff to be new, man. Uh, Padron may be a little bit intense. I don't know. I haven't smoked any farm roll, and I don't know what Padrones you're giving him. But uh, if he's a real, if he's a real beginner like just starting, Padron may be unless he's like got a background in smoking cigarettes with menthol or something like that. Like that, uh, Padron may be a little intense for him in the beginning. Man, y'all dogging that Project Forty, man. <laughs> uh, Matt. I don't uh I don't have that tool. It seems like uh most people will like them. I don't I don't really have an opinion on it cuz I don't have it and I haven't been using it. Uh I don't want I don't want to sound like no snob or nothing, but it just kind of you know and you know too when you smoke long enough you pull a cigar you can kind of even subconsciously when you're touching it you can be like man that's dry or that's too humid and you know. But uh I don't know man, I just, without that sounding terrible. I ain't know if I'm gonna say that. Yeah, pipe, I do like the smell of pipe tobacco too. I got twenty four to twenty five. What do you think about that list? You think it was? You think that pretty legit? Or you think it was a, a BS BS list? Okay, let's, yeah, that's what I was about to say. I think Calibri. I think that's the the majority of the cutters that they sell. JP was good. So now what's going on, man? I don't drink as much as I used to. Uh, the reason why you haven't been seeing a lot of pairing videos is because the uh, the Cigar Madness tournament. But now that that's over, y'all know I'm going to get these pairings going. I got a, uh, a pairing video with the Andalusian Bull with some scotch from the 80s that'll be dropping. You guys know I'm a big red wine fan, so I'm going to hit y'all over the hill with some red wine vibes, man. Appreciate you, DJ. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be up too long. And then you guys know uh, it usually takes... YouTube about a day it's like this. It'll take it a while to process this video, so it'll probably be up tomorrow this time. It'll be up where you guys can watch the playback. Yeah, uh, Matt, that's kind of what I was gonna say. I was like, I don't think it's a. I don't. I'm not gonna say it's useless, but like for me, I'm like, I I know like I know where I keep my cigars at. So I mean, whether it's 62 or 64 or 61, it's like, eh, you know. Yeah, I'm a big Zycar uh, cutter fan. You guys, or I don't have it on me, but I use my uh, EXO cutter all the time. I have an Enzo too. I can't find the damn thing. And uh, honestly, with my lighters, man, these are these are these are two dollars and fifty cents in my local B and M. And this is what I light my cigars with ninety nine percent of the time if I'm not using matches. Just I like soft flames. Yeah, uh, I, I know a lot of people use that Cuban Crafters Perfect Cutter, too. They like those, too. I have never had one. I, I don't have a Cuban Crafter, but the one I use today is just the just the regular, uh, has the Oya de Nicaragua logo on the back of it, just like you'll see Drew Estate or Foundation or whatever. It's just that standard standard Perfect Cut. It's pretty good. Jason, it's going to be really all preference, man. Um uh, some people like V cutters. Some people like punches. I'm more of a straight cut guy. I like I like more surface area to be open. 
Some people like the way that the uh, V cutter looks. It performs too. I, I, I've used V cutters before. I'm just I'm just not a huge V cutter guy. I don't have anything personally against them. I'm just I'm just more of a straight cut guy. Uh, man, isolation. It is what it is. Like I'm a first responder, man. So I'm I'm out in the elements and out in front of people all day long, man. So uh, it's kind of unfortunate because I got a young child, but I mean, uh, it, you know, it is what it is. They open, they open pretty much everything up, uh, last Monday, I want to say. Zippo lighter with torch. I have one of those two laying around here too. I just don't, I don't, I don't, uh, the Zippo lighter with the, uh, butane insert, but I just don't use it a lot. I actually have an acrylic humidor here right now. I, you see what it's being used for. So I don't, I don't, I don't use them. I have a, a, a cooler door I use. Yeah, right, Lee. <laughs> My call, you're going to be a little disappointed in me, man. I don't have an Oliva V in the tournament. Uh, I wanted to put some, I wanted to put some uh, recognition and get some shine to some other cigars that didn't really have as big as a, as big as a uh, uh, background. Actually, since y'all are here, I'll give y'all the first rundown, man. Uh, it's Of course, it's all tentative, but the cigars that I'm looking at for that uh, $10 and under tournament is going to be the Crownhead, Crownhead Warriors, Crownhead La Carine, Guardian of the Farm, uh, Caldwell Blind Man's Bluff, Charter Oak, HVC Cerro, Nat Sherman, Timeless Supreme, and the Henry Clay Warhawk. Probably gonna be those. You might see one of those, one or two of those get changed out, but uh, that's that's gonna be the cigars. I was looking at the Oliva V, but oh, Oliva V, but a lot of people that that uh, that line is well known. The regular V and the Melania. So I was like, eh, I'm I'm gonna kind of try to focus this tournament and give some light to some guards or just some cigars that a lot of people don't really know about that I think they should. King Rooney, what's good, man? How you doing? Uh, you see some people wearing masks, but then hell, you see half of them with their nose out or their lips still hanging out. So they, they aren't wearing a mask correctly. Yeah, Latonya, I, I have seen Martin's video on that uh acrylic acrylic jar. I, I've never I've never used them. This was a gift to me from somebody. Okay, Lee. I somebody asked me about that the other day. I don't know if it was in a Zoom call or what. I've seen pictures of those and uh uh, wanted to try them just because I like Aganorsa stuff, so and especially if it's it's uh, budget friendly too. Yeah, the Guardian of the Farm, even though it's been out a while, I feel like that's still a cigar that's that's still a cigar that's really overlooked. The Henry Clay Warhawk is a and then it's and it's a Connecticut. You guys know I'm not even a Connecticut fan, but that's a really good cigar. I believe Pete Johnson's really big on that too. Nat Sherman's another one. The HVC Cero is another really good cigar. HVC is a brand you guys know. I'm gonna I, I talk really highly about. They put out a lot of good cigars. Charter Oak. Somebody mentioned that earlier by Foundation. Good cigar. Caldwell Blind Man's Bluff. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of newer stuff he's done, but like the Savages, the Eastern Standard, Blind Man's Bluff, King is Day. I like a lot of the older stuff. Guardian of the Farm. The La Kareem. You guys know is probably pound for pound one of my favorite crown heads. We've been talking about the Juarez continuously. I feel like that's just a sleeper cigar, man. They, uh, John Huber and them knocked it out of the park with that one. So I think I think I got a pretty good uh, list. All right, Adam, see you later, man. You be safe at work. Jesse smoked the Cibonet. Cibo okay, uh, you know we're gonna be. Uh, you know when I get off here, I'll be chatting with you, see what you think about that. Just keep them out of the sun. Yeah, this thing just sits in my sunroom and it just collects bands because I knew I wasn't going to put cigars in it. So. Uh, so I uh, that's what it's that's what it's used for now. Yeah, I th yeah, I think I think the list I think honestly, uh, I think I liked half, I like I re respectfully I liked half wheels list of their top cigars that they had last year. I thought they had. To me, the more credit, the more credible list. I still got to smoke that Asian room Nicaragua that won number one last year. Um, Caesar and Caesar over at Smoking Lead, check those guys out too. He sent me that cigar to smoke and review, so I still have to do that. 
that's another brand mystical that I got to get more into too. The Viaja or uh, Viaje, they use Aganorsa stuff, so I'm you know I got to I got to get on board and see if they see if they uh, are holding their own too. Okay, Jesse. William, I don't know if I saw the Cigar Snob list. I'm going to go check that out now, too. I'm going to go look at that one. So. Just did that one touch up. Still going to say medium to full on body flavor. Medium strength. Not any real strength on this. Um, I haven't really detected a lot of complexity in this. And I don't mean, I mean complexity as far as like it's not a thousand different flavors. It's more uh it's more like woody characteristics. Pepper's kind of dialed down some, but this is this is a good cigar. I think this is a, if this becomes regular production, I think this is a five pack, five pack worthy cigar. Done in your reviews on Provada Farm Road. I have not. I'm not a, a Provada member. Nothing against Provada. I'm just not a member of them. Uh, if you want to, and I don't know, uh, or like you, you may just be saying it because you want to hear what I personally think. But uh, Lee Mac. Lee Mac has done uh, some Provada Farm Roll uh, unboxings and reviews. I know he's a really big fan of what he's been getting so far. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I, I didn't agree with the uh, – well, I haven't smoked it, so I can't say I don't agree with it. But I smoked a lot of the stuff through their top 25. So that's kind of like every year. Some cigars, I think they're – they worthy of getting up there, and then um, uh, some cigars I just don't get it. Now, and uh, you guys know I love Padrones, but I, that's one of those cigars I don't like. The, it, they don't come out with anything new that often, so it's like I don't think that they should be in the top 25 list every year or in the top five. Everybody knows about Padron. They don't need any more marketing, but then again, I don't know, man. It could be payola. It could be they've taken up ad space, and that's why they feel like they should be obligated to put that in there. Right? You know, that's above, that's above my pay grade and above me. Yeah, man. He, I know uh, Caesar and, and Rob are really big into that too. Yeah, really, really big into to the country and just military and just rights and all that stuff too. He he probably I think he did Latonya. I know I know smoking preachers a a, a, a Pravada member. I actually smoked a Pravada uh, White Series this morning. It was. Uh, it was a good cigar. It wasn't anything. I, I have to go and look at the price on it. I thought it was good. I have another. I have another one, and I have a. I think I have a Black Series Lancero. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to smoke that and keep an eye out on it, or uh, let you know what I think about it. Yeah. So that's what. So that. Yeah. So Leah will be able to tell you more about the the farm. Well, some of you guys are commenting about. It. You probably already know too. So. Uh, I know Brian over there is getting cigars from multiple farms and you're getting different stuff every month. Like, so none of them are the same. You're getting different wrappers, different sizes, stuff like that. Yeah, Miss Good, it just makes no sense. Like, why are you putting a 1926 or a 1964 Padron in the top five every year? You know, I just don't get that. Like, put some, that's what I was saying. This is your time to get exposure to companies that are doing good stuff that need, you know, Get some, get some, Padron doesn't need any more exposure. Hell, I believe Padron is the only company that doesn't have rips. They don't even have rips, but they don't need them. Their products, their products speak for themselves. They don't need rips. Exactly, Mr. Exactly. Exactly. All right, man. Well, nice chatting with y'all. Uh, the the live stream was was for Black Line Luxuries. I, I showcased. Uh, I'll run through this again, man, just to uh, let you guys know. Got an Agonorsa sampler for thirty nine ninety nine, Placencia sampler for sixty four ninety nine. I'm gonna go ahead and post these links in there before I get off of here, so you guys can uh, can see these. What's going on, James? Yeah, I, I appreciate you, man. I'm going to post these links in here real quick. Thank you, too, for helping. I'm going to post these links in here real quick. So just posted the Placencia one. I'm going to post this Agonorsa one for y'all, too. 
really uh really good price on there too black lines is always going to be very competitive in pricing and a lot of people have ordered from there they'll tell you man you might they might throw in a, a free cigar or two in there too and then uh i'll put in also i put in the uh 10 percent off code for you guys to uh let's see so the placentia pack the placentia samplers in there and then i'm putting the agonorsa in there now and then your 10 percent off code will be here too and this code is not a spe special for the holiday or anything like that this code is always live so if you're ever ordering from black line always use the run sent me and that's always live robert what's going on brother That, that, that And I'm telling you guys, I'm not just saying that because I'm sponsored by them. Like, I actually believe in Black Line and what they're doing, man. They're, they're doing that. They're, they're a company. And, you know, they're, they're not the only one. There's other there's other companies out there that take care of people. Neptune, Fox Cigars. Uh, there's some other ones. But it's always nice when you run into a company that, that cares for the consumer, cares about the smoker. And it's not always about the, the bottom line. It's not, it's not always about uh, money. All right, Miss. I already know. I ain't. I ain't got to say it to you. I know you're gonna be in there tonight, so I'll see you tonight. Agree too. Agree. Y'all did an excellent job with that show uh, with John too, Robert. Man, you, Caesar, and Vic. That was a good show. Very, very good. Like what they like what those guys are doing over there too. Every other Friday, they have a show called Triple Cap. So you check that. Check that out too. All right, man. And uh, so what I'll do, too. So once this video ends, like I was telling you, uh, YouTube will process it. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, I'll post in my community tab. So when you guys are going to my page and you see the community tab, I'll post the uh, I'll post both samplers that I talked about today in the community tab as well, too. So. Yeah, Miss School, check, check them out. They got I mean, their inventory is ridiculous, man. They don't have any, any pretty much anything or if they don't have it, they can get their hands on it. So. And uh, and Unc can attest to that too. They they'll take James over there is, is is excellent, man. He'll take good care of you, definitely. So, all right, man. Well, it was good chatting with you guys, man. Uh, love all y'all, man. And I will see you guys tonight at six o'clock Central Time, seven o'clock Eastern, Championship Day. Don't meet me there, beat me there. And on that note, man, y'all already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And don't forget to be driven, never motivated. Gonna holler at you.